There he is now. Here comes Dublin. Paul Ryan on the turn. Oh, magnificent score. Two points from play out of the six have been spellbinding, to say the least. On the turn, nothing any Tipperary defender could do to stop it. Puck out comes down towards John O'Keefe. Lays it off for Shane McGrath. Being chased by Conor McCormick. Still McGrath has to use the short grip. Is that over the bar? The umpire is satisfied. That is McGrath's third point of the championship. Seemed to take a fall as he was uh, scoring. Let's just watch this again. As McGrath came in, there was a little bit of a follow through. Nothing serious. Well, I think just, you know he just jumped up in the air. I think Shane McGrath followed through there and, and got the brunt of the of the tackle. But I don't think there was anything uh, malicious in it. But um, Marty, that last score illustrates how you have to play when a play team are playing an extra man defence. You have to run the ball out and just, you know, John O'Keefe ran it out and just gave it to Shane McGrath and he was free to run forward and knock it over the bar. Tip should be doing more of that and then Dublin might have to change their plans because if you're going long, well, when you have an extra defender, he'll always pick up the breaks. Anthony Daly must be well pleased. Well, I think so because, I mean, things, you know, everyone knew that, that, that Dublin weren't going to lay down, that they were going to battle. And, um, you know, Gary Maguire just calling players back there because they're bunching in the middle of the field. He needs to create space for the puck out to Liam Rush. Batted away this time. Picked up almost by Michael uh, Carton. Didn't quite gather. Bonamar is there. Carton is again right half back wearing number five. Liam Rush is in there for Dublin as well. Good old Ryan. It's a bit of a mad scramble. Joey Boland takes control. Lays it off. Tender for John McCaffrey. Picked up by David O'Callaghan. Down towards Paul Ryan. First touch is uh, usually good. Teddy Stapleton is sticking with him as per normal. Still O'Callaghan. Working hard. Lovely stick work by O'Callaghan. Has to go back. First Joey Boland. Sent in towards Ryan on the wire. It's three against one up here. Michael Callaghan battling with uh, Ryan on the wire. And Odewire wins the possession. Two Tipperary lads around him. Gives it back outside. Chance here for McCormick. It's very high, but it's also wide. Three wides for Dublin in the opening 28 minutes. And again, Brendan Cummins has taken the puck out quickly. Look who has it. Lara Corbett inside his own half of the field. Goes long. John O'Brien is in there. Sub two. It's Owen Kelly, gets a touch. Peter Kelly has to take control. Tries to get by the initial challenge. Out for Shane Durkett. Joey Boland was available. Gets the clearance. Two against one here. McCormick has to have good hands. And he does. Lays it off to John McCaffrey. Over this side, it's Liam Rush. Now Corbett on the challenge here. Tried the fancy stuff. Paris Bonomar in a little bit of space. Michael Carton can't get the hook in. But the ball is wide anyway. And Dublin maintain that one-point advantage. Tonight, of course, on the Sunday game, you can uh, see uh, all of this uh, match, well, highlights of the game, as well as analysis, and, of course, I look forward to next Sunday's All-Ireland football semi-final between Kerry and Mayo. All tonight in RT2 at 9.30. Great catch. Liam Ryan. Follow through, disappointing. And again, the quick puck out every time. Brendan Cummins to Michael Cow. Stepping forward, the challenge arriving now. Lays it off. Farrell's Garode Ryan, yet to score in this semi final. He's changed that particular statistic. Means that the two temporary midfielders have now scored. And Martin, at the risk of repeating myself, that's the way to run it when they're playing an extra defender. Just quick ball to the cornerback, run it out, and uh, Garrod Ryan just moved up the wing. Quick pass into him and just tapped it over the bar. Level for the fifth time in this semi-final. Have to credit Dublin, though, having conceded an early goal. Some would say a soft goal to Lar Corbett. And Peter Kelly, the fullback, didn't quite control it. Dublin have responded magnificently. Shane Durkin chasing this. Langsman indicates it's a temporary ball. 
interesting as well, Marty, that Gary Maguire hasn't varied his puck out at all. They're all going out, obviously, pre-planned all out to the left-hand side, either left-hand side of midfield or left-hand left -hand forward, so obviously that's a pre-plan. And they've won a fair share of them, so, you know, they're launching attacks from there. It's interesting as well that when John McCaffrey has to man-mark, it's Liam Rush that's going back into the half-back line. It's an easy ball this time for Alan McCrabb. Gives it to Shane Durkin. Trouble for Tipperary. It's Paul Ryan. Hits a rasp. Brendan Cummins had to be alert. Ryan O'Dwyer comes in, dispossesses the keeper. What about that for confidence from the league champions? Comes out for his Porig Mar. Again, no hand passing, goes for distance. Gary Maguire comes off his goal line, but loses it. Has the time to regather. Referee deemed he was fouled. Free out to Dublin. Gary Maguire here coming over with the ball, just held a little bit there by Seamus Callan. A lot of referees mightn't give that free, but uh, delighted to get that because it eases the pressure. No free given. Michael Cahill. Notice that once to very get the ball in the half back line or full back line, they're going for distance. Joey Boland, great catch for him under severe pressure. Down towards Peter Kelly. Roaming out a little bit. Chasing after Lar Corbett. Batted away. Good old Ryan McConnor McConnor. McCormick did well the last time. Ball won't come up. Has to uh, do something with it. Donna Mara sneaks in. Gets by the initial challenge of Peter Kelly. Gives it back for his Lar Corbett. Great hands out of Corbett. Down inside is Callan. There's trouble here. It's a shot saved by Gary Maguire. Comes out to Niall Corcoran and Dublin survive. Shane Durkin steps by the challenge of Noel McGrath. Goes for distance to the captain. Picked up instead by David O'Callaghan. Has to get by Owen Kelly. Hand pass throws Niall Corcoran. Goes for distance again. Dropping it down towards Ryan O'Dwyer. Breaking ball, loose ball, easy ball for Michael Cal to drive it long. Peter Kelly underneath it. So too is Liam Rush. Michael Clark, Joy Bullock. Can't pick it up cleanly. No McGrath's there. Alan McCrab is waiting for it. It's Owen Kelly that has the stick. has to drop it and lay it back. And in comes Johnny McCaffrey. Great heart and determination from the league champions. Battle for Alan McCrab. The crowd looking for a free for Dublin, or indeed for Tipperary, and the sideline ball is given. It's a bit of a battle in this All well, Ireland semi final. Dublin are really putting up the tip that time. Alan McCrab lucky to get away with that one. Maybe I thought he had my like, Cal held. This is a goal chance for uh, Seamus Callan. Hit it very low, and uh, Gary Maguire knocked it away with his feet. The only chance you'll score coming in from that angle is to hit it very high, but good save and important save by Maguire. Alan McCrabb, one of three Dublin All-Stars. Mick Birmingham, Brian McMahon and McCrabb. Ball is dropped in. Who has it now? Torrid Mark. Taken down by Ryan O'Dwyer. No question about that particular decision. Free out to the Premier County. Free is taken quickly. Picked up by Bonner Mar. Available is Larry Corbett. But wonderful defending again by Dublin. And credit, full credit, to Michael Clark. Torrig Ma, unmarked at the moment. Goes over towards Larry Corbett. Lost it in the sunshine. Peter Kelly comes away from last year's hurler of the year, giving chase. Confident play again. By the Lucan Sarsfields man. Michael Cal rebounds, favours David O'Callaghan. Looking around, anybody available, goes down the wing. But well, there's nobody home down there for Dublin. It's an easy ball for Porik Ma to gather and clear down the field. Seamus Callan and Joey Boland still on the sideline, not gone over. The referee now blows his whistle. And this is going to be a little bit of, little bit of afters between Lyle Corcoran and uh, Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly letting his feelings be known. Joey Boland is still on the ground. And the referee is coming in to assert his authority and ensure that uh, nothing else develops. But this All-Ireland semi-final played in a very sporting fashion. And Carl McAllister, by the way, is a referee that allows quite a lot to develop and go on. He likes to uh, develop uh, the game and allow it to flow a little bit. 
perhaps uh, this required the whistle to be blown a little bit earlier. One minute of additional time to be added on here. Going to be a throw ball. The two number eights, the Road Ryan and Tom McCaffrey pull. But it's Dublin that have the possession. It's Liam Rush looking around, see if anybody is immediately available. Puts it into the space. Alan McCraft, nice ball inside. McCormick didn't get there. Shane McGrath did. Sideline ball for Dublin as he couldn't uh, prevent the momentum from uh, allowing him going over the sideline. So this is going to be sideline ball for Dublin. Well, great work again there from Liam Ryan. Um, uses experience well when Shane McGrath picked up the ball. He just gave him a little nudge and knocked him over the line. And you know, to be great, Philip Alan McCrab is um, you know, a very, very good sideline taker. It's difficult enough to get the ball up in Croke Park for some reason. Um, but if, if he could score this as we come up to half time, Marty, it would be a great fellow for, for, for Dublin. Let's see what happens. A crab dropping a little bit short. Knocked away. And referee McAllister from Ahada and Cork has blown the whistle for half time. Anthony Daly is a little bit disappointed that the referee's whistle was blown just when Dublin were attacking. But the large crowd on Hill 16, giving vent to their feelings and applauding the performance of their team in the first half. There's obviously consultation going on with the officials. Dublin and Tipperary go into the dressing room. Anthony Daly looks a little bit annoyed with that decision, but he must be pleased with the team's performance. For Lar Corbett scored a goal after two minutes. They've been level five times in all in the first half. It's Dublin 11 points, Tipperary 1 8. They are level in Croke Park. We'll have analysis right after the break. No, when Tip have the ability to run at you and Lar Corbett gets into space, there will be goals. Morris O'Brien is in for Dublin in place of Conor McCormick. That's our cue to go back to Marty Morrissey and Don McGrady. Thank you very much, uh, Michael. Yes, those changes you've mentioned are most interesting. Brendan Maher, of course, uh, all star midfielder and uh, Young Hurler of the Year last year is in a midfield, and Morris O'Brien is also in. So, uh, two fresh players, but uh, we'll see how Brendan Maher, in particular, who was outstanding last year, recovers from injury and gets his first start. Morris O'Brien will give it absolutely everything. Part of the Limerick Under 21 All Ireland success at the uh, turn of the decade. Now, how he performs, he did well against uh, Waterford the last year, against Limerick, I should say, and uh, we'll see how he does this afternoon. Ball sent in by Noel McGrath. Easy ball, it should be for Gary McGuire. And it's interesting when you mention Noel McGrath, not one of the, uh, the two wing forwards, uh, half forward line. Seamus Callan did score a point, but Noel McGrath, Bonner Maher, John O'Brien have all failed to score so far. Ball outside as far as David O'Callaghan. Dots it, gets by. The initial challenge by Garo Ryan trying to hook him, lays it off. There's two lined up. Liam Ryan has to turn around, but there's nobody immediately available outside. He's well surrounded. Could be deemed to be charging. He is. And there's a free out for Tipperary. Just inside the D. Brendan Cummins wants to take it quickly. Change of attitude required by the All-Ireland champions. They need a bright start. Noel McGrath going for his first score. And his reaction and celebration as he put that over the bar indicates that the intensity and the determination from Tipperary will be a little bit better and more focused in this second half. Well, that's only his second touch, Marty. He wasn't in the play at all in the first half. His half-backs didn't feed him the ball. But, uh, 